Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Political Machine 2016. I'm having a lot of fun, but if you look at the map here, we're not in great shape right now. Um, polls are heavily skewed in Trump's direction. We've actually spent more money than him at this point because we've spent almost all of our time raising money and spending money to try and build up enough of a base to raise money. Whereas he's had time, because we've had to spend all our time fundraising, where he's been able to go do speeches, where he's been able to um, go get endorsements from various groups, National Foreign Policy Committee, gun owners, uh, Christian Confederation, the Tea Party Movement, the Chamber of Business. He's kind of kicking our butt when it comes to that. So right now we have a couple of different opportunities. Right there, that's a 60 seconds interview. That's really where Lucy's going to have to shine. She's like, hey guys, really, I want to be like Pope President. I'm going to do things and make everybody be nice. No more bullies, okay? And um, she's got to go on, basically find ways like TV interviews that cost us no real money that will help us out. So let us hire another operative. PR consultant? Yes! The media is a vicious institution that jumps on any unfavorable candidate's mistakes like a lion on a piece of raw meat. The PR consultant lives and breathes damage control and ensures every interaction with the media benefits Lucy Vagina's campaign. So we're going to do that. It's going to give us more media bias and the interviews are going to be more effective. So we hired this guy. He's going to be like, don't fart on cam. That should help us out with the interview as long as they don't fuck up and forget to go. Now you can see right there, 48% of the country right now is supporting Trump. And the uh, Electoral College vote wise, that'd be way worse. Um, do we have room for any more of these? I can probably turn that off. We don't get a lot of speechwriters. He looks so depressed, like he hates his life. Every single syllable spoken by a presidential candidate is analyzed and broken down and stepped on by political pundits. The speechwriter ensures that Lucy Vagina is getting the proper message across to voters everywhere with just the right amount of heartwarming personal narrative. He's going to be like, how many times do I have to write like, yeah, you know, in the speech? Speech has become more effective. We haven't given any yet, but in case. But I want the more charisma. So if we look at... Ah, oh, where is that? Is it here? No. These are our assets right here. These are buildings, people, the rich guy who's helping us out, the uh, Hollywood friend. These are his assets. Oh, man, he's got a bunch of TV ads going. Those are very effective. And, um... Oh, I forgot. Look, look, her charisma's off the roof, or through the roof there. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to raise a little more money because we want to, we want some more TV ads and we might go focus on the Midwest like Ohio, especially like in Michigan right now. We have equal awareness. Michigan's always close though. Usually they tend to lean um, liberal. That's my home state. All right, let us, can we fundraise one more time? Give me like all your money. Pope President's beautiful. You can call me dad. Thanks. All right, one and a half million, and then let's fly out to Tennessee. You're the only 10 I see, Lucy Vagina. Yep, we want to be in 60 seconds. Tonight, tonight our report is going to cover to investigate the CDA underbelly of under office supply retailers. Do you know where your staplers come from? I, Leslie Danger, do that story and more tonight on 60 Seconds. It's been decades since America seriously invested in its infrastructure, and now we can see the results in crumbling roads and bridges. What would you do as president? We do need to increase the infrastructure. What are you going to say, Lucy? Bring on the apocalypse? Privatized infrastructure? No. She's like super democrat. She's gonna be like consensus builder. Infrastructure's like important. It's the perfect thing to spend stimulus money on. It stimulates me. Oh! It builds resources for our future and I can go to cheer practice on the roads. And it provides jobs for today's. I'd invest heavily in our roads and like bridges. Bridges are great. We should have bridges for like little animals so they don't get swept away in the river. 
funded by a large stimulus spending bill. People like that. Watching the fallout from the debt crisis in Greece, do you think it's time we become concerned with our own debt issues here? Ooh, this is one of our pet things of student debt. Uh, debt doesn't exist? Um... No, we do have a debt problem. It's ridiculous that we expect the average American to have more financial responsibility than the federal government. I mean, I balance my piggy bank all the time. We're building a mountain of debt that our children and grandbabies will be forced to repay. Grandbabies can't even get jobs. How will they pay? It's time we end our wasteful spending, cut our useless government programs, and tighten our belts. Come on, fatties. We owe it to the next generation, especially those baby coal miners. That's all we have for tonight. Oh, man, that did not go well. <laughs> Join us next week when we take an in-depth look at reality television and the people watch it. Are today's modern plot, plot lines and turnabouts causing viewer heart attacks? This and more. Uh, we should have said we're going to deficit spend. Lesson learned. But voters were pleased because she did so well in the first one. Um, Did I hit? Oh, I must have accidentally hit build HQ. I do want to build it at headquarters, but I want to build it down in Florida. Because Florida's got a lot of electoral votes down here. So we're going to raise some funds while we're at it down here. And do we have enough for an endorsement from anybody? No. I'm going to try and get one from the National Association for Women's Rights. Last episode, remember I looked at these three issues? Those are the top three issues, I believe, in whatever state you're clicked on. So that's why I got confused earlier. Apparently, Trump missed his media thing. Hire an operative! Your consulting offices and speeches have earned enough political capital to hire an operative. And we can get a uh, endorsement. The Environmentalist Club... The Environmentalists have endorsed Donald Trump? Fucking Greenpeace endorsed Donald Trump? That ain't good. Um, Let's get the uh, one from the wimp. No, let's get the union votes. Against outsourcing the jobs. Alright, so while we're here, we're going to build a headquarters. Another campaign headquarters. Probably don't need to show this anymore. And then we're going to upgrade that. And then we're going to upgrade that all the way. And we get a little political doobly-doo here. And we should send him to... Send him to Virginia. Oh, we're out of stamina. Man, these states are turning red. That means they're getting really big time behind Trump. Damn it, Trump Bazilla. All right, you, you're going to... Oh, wait, where the hell was I sending him? I forgot now. We should send him to Illinois, actually. That's a very important state. And we're going to go back to Ohio. Apparently we farted on the way there. We're going to give a speech. We've not given a speech yet. There's Trump. Talk is cheap, but takes a lot of stamina. Um, she's going to be for student loan reform. Lucy Vagina supports student loan reform. She's going to be like, y'all, we ain't got money for a student debt. So, like, when I'm Pope President, I'll pay for it for y'all. I should have looked at what was most important in the state. Oh, that is. The student loan reform is important. Oh, we're kind of... Look at that. More people are leaning her way. Not enough for a majority. Uh, we have a headquarters here. Let us create... Oh, wait, let's see. Special interest. I want to hire an advertisement guru. Known only as the advertisement guru, this operative has made connections with the media professionals throughout the country. His connections provide Lucy Vagina campaign advertisements with a 75% price cut and maintenance in whatever state he's working out of. Perfect. We want ads in Ohio. We already have an ad campaign in Ohio that'll lower the amount of money we're having to pay for ads here. And while we're at it, let us hire um, a spin doctor. Always capable of finding the good in the situation, even the really gross and naughty ones, the spin doctor will polish Lucy Vagina's reputation as a candidate. Whichever state the spin doctor resides in, we'll see a ratings boost of 15%. So, you know, she'll say something like, I don't like it when babies poop. And he's going to be like, she doesn't like the baby poop when it's unhealthy. She wants them to be healthy. So, um, I don't know where we want you, spin doctor. 
Ohio is a battleground state, definitely. We're going to create one more ad here. Oh, I don't think we have enough money. On another TV ad, we don't have enough money. So why don't we do some fundraising? Yo, Ohio, Buckeyes forever. Give me money. Damn it, Donald Trump. You are poised to kick our ass if this doesn't turn around. Did he get booed? The Nash... Oh, God. <laughs> you... <laughs> you know you're having a slight problem. With the National Association for Women, uh, Donald Trump's won the endorsement of the National Association for Women. The National Association for Women is an organization dedicated to promoting the rights of women. They're particularly interested in ensuring continued access to abortion and promotion of equal treatment of the sexes. So an organization that agrees in abortion is like, yeah, Trump's good. Oh, man, I didn't count on that. Oh, that's weird how you're clipping through that guy. All right, so let us create an ad here. What is our other ad about? Um, she supports reducing unemployment. Uh, so let's do... What else is an important issue? Deficit reduction is a really important issue here. So she's going to create an ad saying, I favor reducing the deficit. We're going to make it a national TV ad. Three points for us in Ohio, two nationwide. And we get more national awareness. And we need as many TV ads as we can get. Dare we put another one in Ohio? You know what we're going to? Um, what do we want? More money for education? Pro gay marriage. What was her other pet issues? Legalizing marijuana. Traditional values. Fixing the obesity crisis. Um, Black Lives Matter was one of hers. You know what? She's going to take a risk, even though it might offend some people. She's going to be like, Black Lives Matter, dude. It's not cool when cops are shooting people. So she's going to start a nationwide TV campaign about that. And man, then where do we go? Let us hire another operative. We're going to hire a smear merchant. Now, so far she's ple played pr pretty clean. No, wait, we are going to go with the Smear Merchant. The Smear Merchant is fast on the draw with a well-timed quips and chuckles. By joining the Lucy Vagina, Lucy Vagina election campaign, the Smear Merchant will attack their opponent with humorous books and writings. Trump's an easy candidate for jokes, I guess, so each filled to the brim with cutting remarks, increasing the opponent's rating by 15%. All right, so Ohio, we've got stacked with people for things. We're going to go back to New York. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, we don't have enough money for a plane ticket to New York? What about Pennsylvania? All right, let's raise some funds. Y'all, like, I need money for a plane ride? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Go to New York. Next time we will um, properly campaign there. There are only two endorsements left to grab. What's basically the ACLU and the NC... Uh, what is it? National Association... NC... NACP... Ah, National Association of Colored People. Ah, I, I don't remember what the letters are. Oop, there's a question mark one. Is Trump going to beat us to it? He did. Oh, he got the kook. Modifies the opponent's political score on all issues by negative 9% in the state. So I believe that hurts him. It's a good thing we didn't get to that soon, first. Oh, look. And Florida's turning purple. They're kind of liking us. Oh, we didn't finish upgrading that headquarters down there like I wanted to. Daddy, I need some money to build a headquarters in Florida. Old people need to vote for me. Donald Trump said he's going to send you to Mexico otherwise. I read it in a book. <laughs> Lucy, can you go down there? Ooh, and Michigan is undecided. Ohio is. That's kind of good for us. California strongly on our side there. Look at that, 52%. Um, 
Oh, Trump's way ahead in deficit reduction. Maybe that's something we should focus more on. Even though when we did our interview, people really didn't like that. Well, next time we should get one of the endorsements, hopefully. I just hope uh, Trump doesn't get both of them. And while we're here, why don't we hire another spin doctor? Increases your issue ratings by 15% in the state. It's going to make her look better. It helps, too, having the uh, this guy here, little movie man, raising our awareness. Weekly news wrap up. Trump uses ads across Kansas to muster support. Starting at his word out, Donald Trump became an advertise, began an advertisement campaign expressing his views on farm subsidies this week to the voters in Kansas. Staff members close to the candidate expressed their excitement for the new ads. This is really one of the most beautiful states in the world when aid complained. I mean, exclaimed. <laughs> we truly want the residents of Kansas to understand our feelings about farm subsidies are in their and their wonderful state's best interest. Uh-oh, Money Man left our campaign. Trump might have played Dirty Pool and got rid of them. You can get a guy called The Fixer to drive people out of the other campaigns. Let's see, what is that? That's Ground Game, a minor ad against Obamacare. So we're going to build this headquarters up. Oh, wait, did we build it up already? Oh, that's the Trump one I was looking at. We're blue, derp. Well, that was unnecessary. But you know what? While we're here, we're going to give a speech. On Social Security. Like, I support Social Security. You old lazy bastards deserve to rest and stuff. You might break a hip if you got a job. Ooh, people there like that. Might as well do some fundraising while we're here, too. Now give me your money, old people, before you die. <laughs> um, we should be able to, um, the NAACP. We can get theirs or the ACLU's endorsement. We're going to try and get the NAACP's endorsement. Lucy Vagina has won the endorsement of the National Organization for the Support of Colored People. The National Organization for the Support of Colored People is an organization that fights for the rights of African Americans and other racial minorities. She's like, come on, guys. We can all get along. Even though everybody in all these campaigns apparently is white. Trump, why are you, are you gangbanging with my dudes? All the blue dudes are mine. They're like all around him. I don't like that we're having such a hard time in Ohio. What I would love to do, though, is to create an ad down here. Oh, what do we make it on, though? What's most important down here? Social Security. I kind of thought it might be. Um, and how do they look at us? Ooh, they actually favor us for Social Security. That is awesome. Um, to explain this graph, which I should have earlier, this is how the Democrats in the state feel about an issue. Thumbs up as they like it. Thumbs down they don't. This is the independents. This is the Republicans. This is our standing in the state in the issue and uh, Trump's. So we're going to create a nationwide TV ad thing that says Donald Trump opposes Social Security. I heard from my friend Gladys, who told Maurice, who told Gladys again, that Donald Trump doesn't want old people to have jobs or money or social security. He wants to sell them to China for chickens. That's a real ad. Vagina blast Trump. Well, that sounds dirty. Attacks Trump on the record on social security. It's not an attack ad if it's true. All right, where else do we want to go? We really need to set up something in Illinois before too long. So we're going to head to Illinois. We might move the political operative to a state further west. Um, Poll-wise, if the election were today, we would, we're actually ahead in popular vote, but still way behind in electoral votes. Hopefully I don't regret doing it on challenging instead of normal. Oh, look! Trump's trying to beat us here, too. The National Civil Liberties Union. Donald Trump has won the endorsement of the National Civil, Civil Liberties Union. How? With a stance on deporting all the people that came here illegally? <laughs> the National Civil Liberties Union is an organization dedicated to protecting the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Donald Trump, where do you go? 
Oh, well, I was reading that he went down to Florida. Down Trump, we have to let Mexicans in here too, because Mexicans are Americans too, Donald. All right, let us build a campaign headquarters. Get us some more awareness in the state. We'll have a political operative that is here. We will have him go to Missouri. No, actually, let's have him go out to, uh, that's Colorado, I believe. So let's upgrade this so we can get plus 30,000 a turn. Moderate awareness. Unfortunately, we don't have money to do more. We can hire another operative. Let us hire a fixer. I'll show you what a fixer does. Rumors have surfaced that the fixer has pledged support for the presidential hopeful Lucy Vagina. The fixer has been known to use his brand of constructive persuasion on individuals who act out against his political friends. Let's hope Lucy Vagina can keep his powerful new compadre out of trouble. Eliminates targeted operatives. So we'll hire him. And so we can go find um, like one of Trump's guys and get rid of them. We don't want to get rid of this guy because he's helping us out. So we want someone who's red. He doesn't have many operatives, honestly. Did he not build many operative places? He might not have. Well, one guy he has is an operative that's helping out with his awareness here is that guy. So just to show you, we'll have our fixer eliminate him. Right? Eliminate him. I know, dude, you're supposed to. Oh, maybe they can't get rid of those kind? Whatever, we'll come back to it. <laughs> uh, we'll hire another operative while we're here. Let us get a, a s we'll get another smear merchant um, for Illinois. I think that was all our points. Yeah, we, you can only hire two of those operatives in a turn. Look, Kentucky is leaning our way. And there is a speech, not speech, a TV opportunity for us in Wisconsin. Oh, but that's a very conservative show. Oh, I don't know how that's going to go. Um, while we are here, let us upgrade the headquarters. Oh, we don't have enough. Yep, raise some money from the Chicago Bear fans. We'll upgrade that all the way. And then we will go up and try it. You've been invited to appear on the O'Malley scenario. Unfortunately, I don't have the Colbert report on here, I don't think, think anymore, because Colbert quit. This is a show with an audience that skews towards conservatives. The questions are not as difficult as 60 seconds, but they're more direct. O'Malley will ask the questions that the folks are interested in learning more about. Beware of giving vague answers to any of his questions, as he's likely to call you on avoiding answers um, to any of his questions. Uh, uh, avoiding questions, oh, which will damage your candidate's credibility. If your campaign is interested in providing honest answers and you're comfortable with answering all questions frankly, then that's cool. Make sure you accept any invitations to be on the O'Malley scenario if you want to do that. If your campaign is relying on pure charisma and vagueness on issues, avoid it. Like, I believe in telling you things. Good evening, fellow patriots. Uh, and welcome. Tonight, like every night, we defend freedom through the delivery of information. I am Bill O'Malley, and you are watching the O'Malley scenario. We are getting socked at the pump. The big oil companies are taking us to the cleaners. This president, what would you do about that? Um, we could either go after the oil companies or invest in alternative energies. Uh, I, I feel like she's so liberal that she'd go with alternative energies, which is still, I look forward to some of those days. We need to keep investing in alternative energies, like electric and hybrid cars, or a hybrid car that was run by a squirrel under the engine. Finally free Americans from the mercy of foreign oil companies. People like that. Some filthy left-wing states have now, now have legal marijuana. There are now visible stink lines coming off of these places. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you remember when I showed her character, the number one pet issue she cares most about is legalized weed. Um, so I, I guess she's going to have to be straight about it. She's not going to say, let's test drugs on these hippies. Yeah, and I'm not going to say put an end to it. Uh, it's stinky, but it's probably harmless. 420, Bill. Let them have the marijuana. Come on, let's have some brownies, bro. 
Are you serious? You really think it's harmless? Yes, I do. It's certainly no more harmful than, like, alcohol. Try, you know, marijuana is better treated as a public health issue, man. Better than criminal matter. I don't puke after I eat pot brownies. I just get paranoid. Uh, if you, whoa, that's, we did okay. People like that. And if you watch the entirety of tonight's episode, you're a true patriot. I'm Bill O'Malley, and I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks, Bill O'Malley. She actually did pretty good coming out on the Super Conservative O'Malley show and be like, pot for everybody. Brave answers on the O'Malley scenario and presses. This also shows how far America has come in four years. Even more than that, because I think 2011 was when I did my first Political Machine LP. Uh, and that was the 2008 version of the game. And when I made Charles Dick Sucker, I made him pro-pot. And at that time, though... You know, there are a lot of places that are legal for medicinal use. I didn't really realize that, you know, within four years, you'd start to have a lot of places legalize it for recreational use. Four years from now, it'd probably be legal everywhere in America. While we are here... Hmm. Who are you? All right, political operative man, why don't you come here? Because we don't have a much... We're... Wisconsin, 66% of them know of Trump. Only 18% know about us. And uh, we're going to... Oh, I guess fundraise? Hire an operative? Consultant. A professional in every sense of the world. The consultant has the brains, experience, and connections to get the name Lucy Vagina out on the streets. Her presence in the state will result in a weekly plus 4% to candidate awareness. Um, we'll get her... And let's get the Intimidator. He's like, Rawr! The Intimidator will knock down campaign signs, put pressure on stations, and lower awareness and keep people away from the polls using a variety of underhanded techniques. He'll also use overhanded techniques when necessary. It's probably like, she's like, I got a cousin who can take down signs and beat up people? Come on, Jimmy. So that's the, um, move him right there. So he's just going to basically bully people in Wisconsin to try and make it so that it's harder for people to know about Trump. And where do we want to go from here? We are picking up a little steam. You can see more purple states. Those are undecided states. We really need some more TV-type um, campaigns. There's a question mark in Washington. Maybe we should go check it out. Hopefully it's not bad. Oh, no, kook! When he's not making documentaries or writing books, the national kook will now assist in helping the populace make better decisions. Will this help Lucy Vagina campaign or the exact opposite? Whatever the outcome, the kook is going to stir things up in the state he's in. Modifies your political score on all issues in the state by 20%. Wait. That's good. Wait, are some kooks good? That's really good, because that's way different than the other kook. Now, Trump's kook um, modifies opponent's political score on all issues by negative. His kook is really bad. His kook is probably like a racist jerk. And then this guy is probably really nice and says things that aren't true. He's like, Princess Lucy Vagina wants to make sure all the cars run on sunlight and you have free college. Yeah, I don't want to pay for college either. Well, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Man, I'm having so much fun with this game. I love this game. Let's take a look at the polls a quick second. If the election were held today, we would still get trounced when it comes to the electoral college votes. That can't be right there. He spent way more political clout. Maybe because it's early access, it's not tracking that right. Um, because of all the endorsements he's gotten. Either way, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time where we're still the underdog. 45% of the populace is leaning our way. But we're making progress. We're making some inroads. Yeah, this is cool. See ya.